swallowing hope. The waves continued to spread. What's wrong is the world. If it's wrong, then I just have to correct it. That's right. I'll erase everything and create a new world. My own world. To wash away everything. To destroy everything. Sorry, Prince. This is where you die. You suddenly disappear and then you come back and tell me you're gonna kill me? What's your problem, Etna? Nothing, Prince. It's just... Well, I can't believe you're the cause of this worldwide phenomenon. I can't let you live any longer in order to get my nice body back. What are you talking about? A worldwide phenomenon? I didn't do anything. And you've never had a nice body. Not even for a moment. What are you on? Wrong! I had a really nice body, but a kid like you would never understand that! Hey, stop creating such a ruckus and ignoring Lord Valvatore's. Valvatore's? Who the hell is that? I am Valvatore's. Is the main character and future ruler of the universe, Lord Valvatores. <laughs> the main character? Don't make me laugh! There's only one main character in this world, and that's me, President Overlord Laharl! Huh? So he took my title? So this is just another abnormal phenomenon. <laughs> There's only enough room for one main character in the universe! And I am going to defend my title of main character by defeating you! Ha <laughs> Luminaire, back with the next installment of Disgaea 4. I bet you guys have been hoping I would continue this, and of course I am! I mean, just because I start Skyward Sword doesn't mean I can't um, keep doing my Disgaea 4 videos now, does it? Can it? Can it? Of course not. So, we are up to the legendary level 1000 Laharl fight. And if you're taking a look at the levels of my characters, um, quite a bit of a discrepancy from the last time you saw them, isn't it? I have been abusing Mount, uh, Cave, yeah, Mount Ordeals 4. Um, and actually, this is like the fourth time I've tried the Laharl fight. Um, to be honest, the very first time I tried it, which was right after I fought Etna, I came kind of close. Like, I got Laharl down by himself. However, he has an ability where he will, um, his health restores to full if it gets under 25%. So I did that much damage only to have it get fully healed so I couldn't beat him. But not only that, I also made... I think I leveled my, my Prelude Staff to level 100. Of course, it's higher than level 100 because of all the extra bonus levels I got and stuff. But the point is, it's fucking strong. And I might have gotten... I might have started tutor farming at this point. I wasn't sure. Uh, you know, where I, I got a bunch of tutors, which is a specialist that increases intelligence, and then I duplicated them. I can't remember if I had started doing that or not. But here's the skivvy on this level. Uh, those hell dragons, they're tough as shit. Um, you really gotta use magic to take care of them, or in this case, Desco. <laughs> um, what they do is they fuse together, and they just become uh, pretty uh, resilient. Uh, so I actually restarted a few times because I had to make sure I got rid of some of them. Um, but I can... Arcoe is strong enough where she can take care of them with wind magic. Um, but I wanted to destroy one of the, the sets of dragons because um, Laharl dual magic... dual wields them later. Dual wielding. Oh, my 
Um, so I wanted to get rid of some of them. But he, he's, he's still going to be dual magic changing, so he can use two skills at once. As if he wasn't powerful enough already. So he's really going to wipe the floor. Uh, he's quite capable of wiping the floor with me if I do not um, uh, do this properly. Also, I think with all his equipment, he has a movement of like seven. And his and he has good range, so he is highly capable of moving around and just following me around wherever I go and just obliterating me. So, at first I tried to use uh, my professor, um, Mizuho, to increase Arcoid's magic range and just try to hit him from as far as possible, but Lahal is an aggressive <laughs> CPU, so he's going to try to hunt me down. So. I need to alternate between magic and movement, and man, does it get intense. But I do prevail, and yeah, definitely want her out to lower the stats as much as possible for him. And yeah, rune dimension. Good skill to have. Just had to level up Val to level 500. Yeah. Damn, they're tough. But I know they're going to take the turn to fuse, so I don't have to worry about the fence. See, half the strategy is just knowing what the computer is going to do, and then you can really make your moves accordingly. This is the power of an overlord. Almost sounds like a song. Anyway, yeah, he's tough. Oh, and did you know that he's voiced by Barbara Goodson, who used to do Rita Repulsa from the original Power Rangers? I love that. It is so awesome. I'm getting a headache! Well, God, God knows I can't do her voice, but she is funny. And I'm really glad that she keeps doing Laharl in this, you know, this relatively niche game series ever since like 2001, uh, like 2003 or so. You know, it's just nice that she's still doing it. Um, also, a role that I don't think she enough get, gets enough credit for, but she was Nauta. Oh, that cost me. In fact, does that make me reset? I'm highly considering it. Instead, I think I just retreat. Um, yeah, she did Nauta and FLCL, or Fully Cooly, one of my favorite shows, one of my favorite anime. It's only six episodes long, so if you haven't seen it, you have no excuse. Did you like Gurren Lagan? Did you like Evangelion? Same guys. Go watch it. Um, but a uh, funny story about that anime, I did not like it at all at first when I saw it like uh, ten years ago. In high school, I'll stop you. Um, I had, a friend gave me a bootleg DVD and I watched it. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't quite follow it. I never finished it. I saw like the first two episodes and I stopped. Um, I, I, I didn't care for the Japanese for whatever reason. I mean, I just didn't really understand what was going on that much. Uh, a little bit later, when it comes on Adult Swim and I watch it in English, uh, for whatever reason. That sealed the deal. I was just able to get into it that much easier. Giant Desco. You know we're going to be abusing some giant magic change over here. Uh, yeah. A after in English, I thought it was it was a bit more compre it was more comprehensible. Uh, I like the acting. Um, Carrie Walgren and Stephanie Shea had t their first roles in that anime, and if you don't know who they are, look them up. They've probably done something you've heard of. But, you know, they're pretty good. And I thought it was entertaining. Um, and since I've rewatched the show, like, maybe seven or eight times, uh, bought it on DVD, and I just rebought it on Blu-ray, actually, and it came in the mail yesterday. Uh, rightstuff.com uh, was having a big blowout trail, 12 Days of Christmas Savings, and while I got the original DVDs at Otakon for, like, 40 or 50 bucks, which was a bargain back then because, dude, th these are o rare OVAs that in Japan you had to spend like $60 per 
Pro DVD, which only contains one episode, so you do the math. That's fucking rip off. Now, I just got the whole thing on a single Blu ray for like $18. <laughs> oh, God. It's glorious. Interesting thing I did not know is that while it is in 1080p, the uh, aspect ratio is actually 4x3, not 16x9, so it's not widescreen. Kinda, I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. That's kind of a mixed bag. I also got all of um, Yu Yu Hakusho, another rebuy, on Blu-ray for like $60, the whole thing. And ba again, back in the day, I used to spend like 50 bucks per season for like five seasons. So the value is just insane. I, I had to get these. I'll probably sell my old DVDs. Keep the Blu-rays. Uh, again, this is another case where uh, 1080p high def, lovely. However, four by three. It's not. It's not. It's not full screen. It's the normal aspect ratio. I guess. I guess it would look weird stretched. But you know, I, I assumed that 1080p meant that they would. That the whole thing would fill up. Also have Samurai Champloo on Blu-ray, which I got. That is um, remastered from SD into 16x9. So, uh, I, I'm not sure what, why they decide whether or not to do that. What makes them decide uh, what to do that. Oh, and the Trigun movie, which was naturally in 1080p uh, widescreen. So, it's a naturally high-def movie, so it looks fucking fantastic. Um, it's got a nice starting Blu-ray collection, to be honest. Um, I, I've been getting anime on DVD for years, but um, they they just released Dragon Ball Z, the very first season on Blu-ray. Uh, I need to debate whether I'm gonna cave and get that. If it's in 16 by 9 then I think my decision will be easy. If it's 4x3, I'm hesitant. I got the original TV seasons when they started really, uh, well, you know, it came out in v VHS, then they started doing DVDs, individual volumes. Then after years go by and they finally release season sets, and I'm like, this is one of my favorite shows. I finally get to buy it, and I, you spent like 40 bucks a season, and there were like nine seasons. Now you can get them for like half off, for like 20. Now the Blu-ray is like, you can get the whole Saiyan Saga or something uncut for like, uh, 40 bucks on Blu-ray. You know, it's about the same as it was on DVD. But if it is, uh, if, if it's 4x3, I'm not quite sure if I want it. But the thing was, in the original uh, DVDs that they released, not the Dragon Box, that's different. But in the original DVD sets, they actually cropped the video for whatever reason. I mean, they did remaster the uh, audio uh, video, cleaned it up so it looks a bit nicer, but the images are cropped. It's not real widescreen or whatever screen it was, but um, they cut off parts of the top and bottom just to show a little bit more of the far wide. Uh, it, it was weird. Uh, you, you can look it up. And so, just because I'm somewhat of a purist when it comes to this shit, uh, I don't have the best version of the show. And I never did get the Dragon Box. I haven't even seen Kai, which is different. I don't know if I want that, but you know, it, it was the original se uh, series that I grew up uh, watching and loved. So uh, I'll probably wait a long time to see if I'll cave and get it on Blu-ray. There's no point in getting uh, anime when it first comes out. It's always better to, to wait for it to be cheap. And but. And I know some people say it's like, well, why don't you just stream and watch this shit? I do. Uh, I have Netflix. I watch a lot of stuff high def for free. Well, not for free, you know, eight bucks a month. And the shit that's not out yet, um, that streams in Japan, I watch occasionally. I haven't watched anywhere near as much as I did years ago, back in college or high school. But I, I only buy the shows I really like or love. Um. So, Clannad, for example, uh, I was waiting forever for that to be a bi-wingle DVD. It was, uh, was sub-only at first, then they finally released it, um, a dub with it, which is okay, but I, I'm not going to buy a DVD without English and Japanese. There's just no value to it. 
Um, so then they finally released the DVDs, and then they finally released the complete sets, and I bought them each for like 50 bucks each. Then a month, then like two months later, I find out that they're re-releasing it on Blu-ray, which is funny because it was originally broadcast in high def, I believe. And the fact, uh, the fact that the um, it's licensed by Sentai, and they're a company that doesn't even. Uh, they're not one of the bigger ones. They're not Funimation or Bandai or anything like that. Uh, so the fact that they even, uh, you know, fan, fan demand was so high for this show that the fact that they released it up at all and re-released it is impressive and a stretch. So I was surprised that they're bothering to re-release a Blu-ray, uh, and I felt, kind of feel compelled to get it. That it's just one of those cases. Um, you know, uh, I, when I was younger, and, you know, I, I would occasionally buy an, uh, anime DVDs blind of a new show that I'd never seen before. Sometimes it works out well, and you, and you get to see shows like Last Exile, or Hajime no Ippo, or, um, Haibane Renme. All very good shows that I happen to like. Sometimes it doesn't work out so well, and you get shows like Angelic Lair, or S Sakura Wars, or... Oh god, what what else do I have? I I have some shit. <laughs> I have some shit on DVD. Uh, as far as blind buys go, I have some stuff I never I never watched. Uh, I'll have to get back into that. So yeah, I, I bought my favorites. I, I only buy my favorites now. That is my rule. Anyway, it looks like I'm about to beat Laharl. And I really just sent my Mothman out as a distraction. But he's going to recover his health. I believe. Yeah, you're dead. No! No, he didn't. Then what was the ability have? Maybe maybe he, he takes less damage when it's lower? Yeah, that must be it. That stupid treasure chest is in my way. I can just barely hit him, I think. Yeah, there we go. Accuracy isn't the best, but you gotta make do. You want to know why I've been spamming Omega Wind? It's because I have a higher uh, wind tolerance, which means it's my most effective spell. And I think this will get him. Wow, I can't believe I spent that long talking about anime, something I never really talked about. So, anyway, as always, sorry for the sporadic uploads. I get to it when I can. Uh, that was Laharl. After this is. Well, you'll find out. Now do you see who the real main character is, Overlord Lahal? Hmm. You guys are pretty good. Fine. I'll let you be my vassals. You idiot! Why would my lord become a vassal of the loser? Don't get so worked up, Fenric. We have more important things to worry about. Yes, my lord. You're correct, but... Listen, overlord from another netherworld. The reason you're here is because some power from another dimension is affecting us. Oh, so you're saying that I was sent here by someone else's will? Correct. So you're not even supposed to exist in our dimension. Okay, but I don't really care about it either way. As long as I'm numero uno around here, I couldn't really care less about anything else. He's so selfish, as expected of an overlord. Oh, Sir Laharl, you need to grow out of this selfish overlord phase you're in. So, who in the world brought me here? And why? 
we don't know yet. However, I assume the Mastermind is trying to take over the entire universe. Ha! Take over the universe? I like their ambition. It seems like they haven't learned how to control their power yet. That's why these strangers keep getting sent to our netherworld, and we kept accepting them as president. Yes, that's correct. Who could be doing this? I mean, we kind of pissed off God. I wouldn't be surprised if something worse happens. You pissed off God? Raspberries! You guys must be top-notch honor students. Could this... Could this also be Fear the Great? I'm speculating that this phenomenon has been caused by the forced termination of that system. As I said before, that system was too much for us to handle to begin with. The effect of terminating it could easily reach across dimensions. But... That was just a system. You need a tremendous amount of malice in order to activate it. Could that someone's malice be interfering with this world? Creating these abnormalities? Then what are we supposed to do? Something really bad is going to happen if we don't stop it soon. The answer is simple. We find that someone and defeat them. Then all of the abnormalities will stop. But how are we going to find that someone? It would be nearly impossible to locate a being who is interfering with us from across dimensions. Right. Unfortunately, it would be impossible for us to go and find them on our own. So, that leaves only one way I can think of. Wait for that someone to appear before us. I see. Is that why you told me to wait, Fenric? My apologies, Lord Val. I could have been more clear, but I didn't think you'd accept just waiting. No need to worry. I've got more to look forward to now. I can't wait to meet this someone. I wonder how powerful they are. <laughs> Okay, it's a good thing the title of president is back in my hands. Problem solved, thanks. Hey, are you that desperate to be the president? <laughs> you got that right. <laughs>